Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. Jamaican-born American ICU nurse Sandra Lindsay on Monday became the first person to get a COVID-19 vaccine in the United States. Millions of vials of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine are being distributed in a push to reach 100 million people by April. Back home, Jamaica on Sunday recorded 82 new COVID-19 cases, pushing the tally to 11,792, of which 3,267 are active. 273 people have died. The National Water Commission says it has started enforcing a massive and widespread disconnection drive to collect outstanding payments from customers in arrears. Over 100 communities across Jamaica are being targeted. The St. Anne community of Sendeka near Alexandria remains tense following Sunday's fiery protest over the fatal shooting of 43-year-old farmer and mason Glester White. Angry residents set fire to the policeman's car as well as to a house belonging to a relative. One of the cops' relatives had called him to the community to quell a dispute over a water tank on a property leased by the deceased man. In sports, Caribbean Premier League Director of Operations Michael Hall says he's eager to offer his assistance to the Jamaica Football Federation, JFF, to help formulate COVID-19 protocols for the start of the Premier League season. Mr. Hall says that as a fan of local football, he's frustrated to see that the leagues all over the world have resumed, while the JFF awaits government approval for its own season. In your currency trading at midday today, one US dollar was being sold for $144.24, the British pound sterling for $192.26, and the Canadian dollar for $112.86. In your weather forecast, Tuesday morning will be mainly sunny. In the afternoon, expect partly cloudy conditions. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Joven Johnson.